that I found this entry from my journal. Quote, orange wings flapping in the darkness, monarch butterflies are migrating across North America, south to the creases in the mountains of central Mexico, Mijucan. They fly 15,000 feet above the earth to Sierra Pallone, an active transvolcanic range, orange, black, Monarchs wear the topography of flowing lava on their wings. The butterfly's final destination was a secret, not discovered by the lepidopterists until 1974. Of course, the locals knew, but they never told anyone that 40 million monarchs were perched on the mountaintops above their village, opening and closing their wings in private conversation. I'm walking up a mountain along a steep, thin path the path is dry and dusty. There are burning fields, cleared fields, from logging and farming that appear as quilted squares on the steep hillsides. Gullies cut deep from rains, exposing red soil, erosion. A few monarchs are sipping nectar from roadside flowers, some called senecio. We pass men on the trail who remove monarchs from the path. They pick them up, blow the dust off their wings, and place them in sunlight, safe from foot traffic. This is their job. This is their work. I stop. I think I hear rain. We continue walking until the forest darkens, cools. Suddenly, we look up through a canopy of wings, wings fanning the air, creating the sound of rain, the sound of wind. It is the sound of wings, butterfly wings. The fir trees are laying down their arms. Here, now, millions of monarchs hang from the trees like frost-bitten leaves, the underside of their wings exposed, burnished, and bronzed. We are now dressed in butterflies. The longer we stay inside the winged forest, the more we see and hear, the settling of peace. And then the sun appears from behind a cloud. The peace is ruptured in a frenzy of flight. The forest is ablaze with monarchs, winged flames, reaching upward. Here we stand in the mind of God, a friend says. Here we stand in the beating heart of earth, I reply. Why must we leave? We walk back down the mountain. I trip on an exposed root. My foot falls on a butterfly. I have killed a butterfly. A woman from the village walking with me bends down, picks up the still alive with cradled hands, and brings the monarch to her mouth, and with one quick pop of her breath, blows it back to life. In a miracle, it flies. Silo de vida, she says. Now, more than 25 years later, if only it was that simple. On August 28th of last year in 2020, it rained in Fargo, North Dakota, but it was not a generative rain. It was a rain of thousands of dead monarch butterflies on the sidewalks, streets, and playgrounds in this Midwestern city. Residents awoke to what they called a monarch massacre and spoke of picking up hundreds of fallen monarchs. Children were being asked at their elementary schools during recess to pick up the winged bodies in stacks of 25 monarch butterflies by the top. The cause of deaths a routine mosquito abatement program carried out in the middle of the monarch migration by city officials who said, we didn't know there are some insects that are dead, but rest assured there was a, absolutely no change in the protocol of spraying. Parathern, same chemical, they said, same product, same airplane, same process and procedures we've used for the past 10 years, unquote. The city official called it, quote, an unfortunate side effect. Unquote. What is the side effect of children stacking the bodies of monarchs on their playground? What is the side effect of grief? When a generation earlier, children were known to look out the window of their apartment buildings and witness the wonder and awe of millions of monarchs flying through Manhattan. Or in rural America, when children were accompanied to school with monarch butterflies floating along their side while walking through fields of milkweed. As Eva mentioned, in January of this year, 
during the 24th Western Monarch Count, nearly 100 volunteers donned their masks and masks in the middle of a pandemic to carefully survey groves of trees on the California and Northern Baja coast for monarchs. They surveyed 246 sites. Sadly, to their surprise and dismay, only 1,914 monarchs were counted, a shocking 99.9% decline since the 1980s. Counts from 2017 to 2019 were around 30,000. Now a year later, barely 2,000 individuals. We are in fact, as Jay reminded us, witnessing the rapid collapse of the Western migration of insects, and in this case, monarch butterflies. Monarchs now flutter on the threshold of extinction. A migration of millions of monarchs reduced to 2000 in a few decades. Where is our outrage? Where is our grief? How do we put our love into action? And can we love this beautiful broken world enough to change? Who are we as a species if we allow monarch butterflies, a living symbol of metamorphosis to cease to exist? They are torchbearers of beauty who still fly above us. Homero Arrigas writes in his poem to a monarch butterfly, you who go through the day like a winged tiger, burning as you fly, tell me what supernatural life is painted on your wings so that after this life, I may see you in my night. Tú que vas por el día como un tigre alado, quemándote en tu vuelo, Dime qué vida sobrenatural está pintada en tus alas para que después de esta vida pueda verte en mi noche. <música> 